morning to all of you and welcome in the online learning session of BSc Agriculture third semester course Biochem 231. Students in previous class we learned about the nature, properties and reaction of monosaccharide. And in today's class we are going to understand the second class of carbohydrate called as the oligosaccharide. Oligo means few and saccharide means sugar unit. The definition of oligosaccharide is the compound sugar which yield 2 to 10 molecules of same or different monosaccharide unit upon hydrolysis are called as oligosaccharides. The oligosaccharides are classified based upon the number of monosaccharide unit yield produced upon hydrolysis. The oligosaccharides are categorized into disaccharide, trisaccharide, tetrasaccharide, pentasaccharide. The examples of disaccharide are in front of you. The compound sugar which yield two molecules of same or different monosaccharide unit upon hydrolysis are called as disaccharide. Disaccharides are one of the most widely abundantly found oligosaccharide in the nature. The examples of disaccharides are in front of you. The examples are sucrose, lactose, maltose, gentiobios, millibios. These are few examples. Again, it includes the trihalose. These are some examples of the disaccharide. Next class of oligosaccharide is the trisaccharide. The compound sugar which yield 3 molecules of monosaccharide upon hydrolysis are called as the trisaccharide. The examples of trisaccharide, raffinose, raminose, gentianose, then virgitose. These are few examples of the trisaccharide. Next class of oligosaccharide is the tetrasaccharide. The compound sugar which yield 4 molecules of monosaccharide, same or different unit of monosaccharide upon hydrolysis are called as the tetrasaccharide. The examples are statues, corridors. These are few examples of tetrasaccharide. Next class of oligosaccharide is the pentasaccharide. Pentasaccharide means 5. The compound sugar which yields 5 different or same or different molecules of monosaccharide upon hydrolysis are called as the pentasaccharide. An example is in front of you that is the Vargascose. This is in brief the classification of oligosaccharide. The oligosaccharide means compound sugar which yield 2 to 10 molecules of same or different monosaccharide unit upon hydrolysis. The disaccharides are most widely and abundantly found oligosaccharide in the nature. These disaccharides further categorized based upon the glycosidic linkage present in the disaccharide compound disaccharide sugar molecules. The disaccharides are further categorized as a reducing disaccharide, non-reducing disaccharide and the reducing and non-reducing disaccharide further categorized into the C1C1 glycosidic linkage, C1C2 glycosidic linkage, C1C4 glycosidic linkage and C1C6 glycosidic linkage. So this categorization is based upon the presence of glycosidic linkage in the disaccharide sugar molecule. After the classification of oligosaccharide, disaccharides are most widely distributed, most widely observed found oligosaccharide in the nature. These disaccharides are further categorized into non-reducing disaccharide and reducing disaccharide. What actually the reducing sugar or non-reducing sugar means? Reducing sugar means the sugar which acts as a reducing agent because it contains free aldehyde or ketone group which are available for the reaction as a functional group. Hence, these are called as reducing sugar. Whereas in case of non-reducing sugar, the aldehyde or ketone group does not present as a free functional group. These are involved into the compound synthesis, compound formation. Hence, these are called as non-reducing sugar. The disaccharides are further categorized into the non-reducing disaccharide and the reducing disaccharide. These non-reducing and reducing disaccharide are further categorized based upon the type of linkage present in the compound. The non-reducing disaccharides are categorized as a C1, C1 glycosidic linkage, C1, C2 glycosidic linkage. What actually the glycosidic linkage means? Here, in case of the non-reducing disaccharide, the glycosidic OH group or the OH group hydroxyl group present at the carbon number first is called as the glycosidic OH group whereas the other hydroxyl group present from carbon number 2 to carbon number 4 are called as alcoholic OH group. These hydroxyl group present at the carbon number first that is the glycosidic OH group and other alcoholic 
or hydroxyl group present from carbon number 2 to 4 are involved in the new compound synthesis, disaccharide synthesis. Hence, the linkage so formed by sharing of oxygen atom is called as the glycosidic linkage. So here in case of C1, C1 glycosidic linkage, the hydroxyl group present at the carbon number first is called as the glycosidic OH group whereas the second glycosidic OH group present at second sugar molecule which are involved in the elimination of water molecule and by sharing of oxygen atom two sugar molecules are combined together to form the disaccharide called as a non-reducing disaccharide. The linkage is called as C1C1 glycosidic linkage. Example is in front of you trihalose. Next C1C2 glycosidic linkage where the elimination of water molecule and the synthesis of a new compound new disaccharide is formed by elimination of water molecule from two different sugar molecule. C1, C2 glycosidic linkage that is the glycosidic OH group and the other OH group present at the carbon number 2 are involved in the synthesis of new disaccharide by sharing of oxygen atom. So here this compound is called as sucrose linkage is called as C1, C2 glycosidic linkage. In case of the reducing disaccharide, the reducing disaccharide C1, C4 glycosidic linkage is found and C1, C6 glycosidic linkage is found. So in case of C1, C4 glycosidic linkage, the glycosidic OH group present at the carbon number first and the OH group, hydroxyl group present from carbon number four are involved in the elimination of water molecule and by sharing of oxygen, here the new compound is synthesized from two different monosaccharide unit and disaccharide is synthesized. The linkage is called as C1, C4 glycosidic linkage. The examples are in front of you, lactose, maltose. Next, C1C6 glycosidic linkage. Here, in case of C1C6 glycosidic linkage, the glycosidic OH group and the OH group present at the carbon number 6 are involved in the reaction. Elimination of water molecule is carried out, and then after by sharing of oxygen atom, new compound, new disaccharide is synthesized. Most widely and naturally abundantly synthesized oligosaccharide, nothing but disaccharide in the nature, is the sucrose. Sucrose is the most common sugar of kitchen and commerce. In case of the commercial baking industry as well as the confectionery industry, sucrose is predominantly used. And sucrose is also called as the table sugar. Common sugar is nothing but the sucrose. Sucrose is one of the common sugar used in crystalline form. Let us see the occurrence of the sucrose. Most of the photosynthetic plants are able to synthesize the sucrose. Sucrose is found in each and every photosynthetic plant. This sucrose is abundantly synthesized in some plants. In that, first one is the sugarcane, Saccharum officinarum. Next one, the beet, the beta vulgaris. Then the botanical name of maple, Acer saccharina, there are the pineapple, ananas satagos, there are the decus carota, commonly known as the carrot. These plants are wide and rich source of sucrose. The sucrose is commonly found synthesized in flower, seed, fruits and root. The nectar of flowers are the richest source of sucrose and hence in case of honey, there is a the predominant sweetening agent is nothing but the sucrose. Sucrose is the only sugar which is commonly used in crystalline form. This is the most common information regarding the occurrence of sucrose. Next one is the chemistry. So in case of the commercial production synthesis of sucrose, sucrose is synthesized from the sugar cane and sugar beet. In case of the refinement of sugar, the unrefined yellow, brown, yellow pigment is produced and it is removed after during the refinement of sugar and the white crystalline nothing but the sucrose is produced and the yellow pigment which is removed from this is commonly known as the unrefined product known as molasses. It is also having the commercial value. This is the information about the chemistry of sucrose. Sucrose is synthesized in the plant by eliminating water molecule from the glucose and fructose molecule. The synthesis of sucrose is present in front of you. 
that is uh, the water molecule is eliminated by from the glycosidic OH group present in the glucose molecule and the hydroxyl group present at the carbon number 2 and by sharing of oxygen atom there is a synthesis of new compound called as the sucrose. This is uh, the sucrose. Sucrose is one of the most important building block of other sugar like the cellulose starch and though most of the research carried out in case of sucrose but still the different surprises may also produced by sucrose hence in case of biochemistry it is called as the little bit riddle sugar the surprising sugar that is the sucrose so here this is the synthesis of sugar sucrose in case of the synthesis of sucrose water molecule is eliminated through the glycosidic OH group and the hydroxyl group hydroxyl OH group present in the fructose molecule this is the fructose molecule where the pyranose structure is predominant as compared to furanose structure so in case of this pyranose structure of fructose the hydroxyl group present at the carbon number 2 and the glycosidic OH group present at the carbon number 1 are involved in the elimination of water molecule and with the elimination of water molecule and by sharing of oxygen atom there is a synthesis of new compound called as the sucrose common table sugar this is the overt formula whereas this is the Fischer's chain structure of the sucrose the, both these structures are represented in front of you this is the chemistry of sucrose. Next one that is the properties of sucrose. In case of the properties of sucrose, sucrose is white crystalline form. This sucrose is present in white crystalline form. The melting point of the sucrose is 180 degrees Celsius. When the sucrose is heated above its melting point, then it produces the brown colored pigment, brown colored compound commonly, popularly known as caramel. We are even, you are also aware about the application or use of caramel. In every chocolate, there is a presence of the caramel. In confectionery industry, there is a tremendous, enormous importance of caramel. And nowadays, caramel is one of the most popular ingredient of the confectionery industries, confectionery products. Next one, it is dextro rotatory in nature and having specific rotation about plus 66.7 degree. When the sucrose is treated with the hydrochloric acid, then this hydrochloric acid chars completely disintegrate or decomposes sucrose to yield pure carbon. Then when the sucrose is hydrolyzed then it yield equimolar concentration of glucose and fructose and hence such sugar is called as the inward sugar, sucrose is called as inward sugar because it produces the equimolar concentration of the glucose as well as the fructose. The after the hydrolysis of sucrose, whatever the solution produced, it contains the glucose which is dextro rotatory in nature, whereas the fructose which is levorotatory in nature. The dextro rotation of glucose and levorotation of fructose, the fructose, levorotation of fructose is dominant, hence the solution so produced is levorotatory, though the sucrose is a dextro rotatory in nature. This is about the properties of sucrose. Sucrose is easily soluble into the water. Sucrose is sweetest sugar as compared to any other sugar like the glucose, lactose, maltose, fructose. It is sweetest sugar in the nature. It is commonly used in crystalline form. It is present in crystalline form. This is the short information about the sucrose. The structure of sucrose through Howarth formula is in front of you. And the occurrence of sucrose by the combination of glucose and fructose is also in front of you. This is short information about after the most widely and abundantly found sugar in the nature that is the sucrose next most important oligosaccharide next most important sugar of oligosaccharide is the lactose 
in case of occurrence of lactose lactose is solely animal originated sugar it is found in milk of mammal it is synthesized in the milk of mammal the lactose percentage in human milk is about 6.8% as compared to cow's milk the lactose percentage in case of cow's milk is about 4.8% in detail composition of the human milk and cow's milk is in front of you in case of commercial production of lactose lactose is commercially produced through the crystallization and evaporation process of the whey whey is the by product produced during the manufacturing of cheese so when whey is prepared after the evaporation and crystallization process lactose is isolated lactose is commercially manufactured the lactose in case of the chemistry of lactose lactose is synthesized by elimination of water molecule from the glycosidic OH group of beta d galactose and the alcoholic OH group from the alpha d glucose with the elimination of water molecule and by sharing of oxygen here there is a synthesis of new compound called as the lactose in case of the properties of lactose lactose is white crystalline solid it is less soluble in water as compared to the sucrose the melting point is about 203 degrees celsius it is dextro rotatory in nature and the alpha and beta form produces the dextro rotation is about 90 degree and 25 degree the specific rotation of alpha form is about plus 90 degree in case of beta form plus 35 degree and when the lactose solution consists equimolar concentration of galactose and glucose then the solution produces a specific rotation is about plus 52.5 degree it is less soluble in water lactose is one of the wonder of the nature because in case of the newly born infant in case of infant lactose is the only source of energy it is the only source of nutrient it is the only source of growth for the newly born infant and it supplies everything for that infant and hence it is also called as the wonder sugar it is the miracle of the nature called as the lactose after the lactose another example of c1c4 glycosidic linkage an important oligosaccharide is the maltose maltose is naturally synthesized in sprouting grains of barley sprouting cereal grains and the maltose is naturally synthesized by the action of malt on the starch by the enzyme maltase then after diastase because of this enzyme the maltose is naturally synthesized into into the plant the high corn syrup is one of the most important commercial commercially used component and it is synthesized it is extracted from the uh, sprouting grains of barley sprouting uh, grains of cereal crops then after the rice then the uh, starch extracted from the potatoes sweet potatoes the then the corn and such a high corn syrup is having commercial application commercial importance next is the chemistry of the maltose maltose is naturally synthesized it is commercially prepared by the elimination of water molecule from the glycosidic OH group of alpha d glucose molecule and the alcoholic OH group present at the carbon number 4 of another alpha d glucose molecule and with the elimination of water molecule and by sharing of oxygen atom the new component called as the maltose is synthesized it is commercially prepared the chemistry is in front of you how the maltose is synthesized from two glucose molecule so here the maltose alpha d glucose and alpha d glucose molecule with the elimination of water molecule from the glycosidic OH group present at the carbon number first and alcoholic OH group present at the carbon number four of another alpha d glucose molecule and with the elimination of water molecule and by sharing of oxygen here the new compound new naturally synthesized of oligosaccharide is there that is the maltose the fissure chain structure and four ring formula is in front of you how the maltose is synthesized chemistry of maltose is in front of you then after next one that is the properties of maltose 
in case of properties the Markus is occurred as a white crystalline solid then after the melting point of Markus is about 160 to 165 degrees Celsius then it is dextro rotatory in nature as it contains free aldehyde and ketone group because of that it produces three different form first one that is the alpha then after betose and the aldehyde ketose or aldehyde maltose form these three forms are occurred then after because of presence of free aldehyde and ketone group the maltose is responsible for producing the muta rotation and it is acting as a reducing sugar it is soluble into the water this is about the properties of maltose next the commercial application the high maltose syrup is commercially used in baking industry in brewing industry it is commercially used as a preservative preventive it is also used as a sweetener and it is used in soft drink and in diet food also there is a use of the high corn syrup or high maltose syrup this is the important and in short explanation about the maltose after the maltose next oligosaccharide and example of c1c6 glycosidic linkage is isomaltose there are other examples are also there but for the explanation point of view and for semester and examination point of view here the most important oligosaccharide regarding the c1c6 glycosidic linkage is the isomaltose the isomaltose structure or synthesis is in front of you when the water molecule is eliminated from glycosidic OH group and the alcoholic OH group present at the carbon number 6 then with the elimination of water molecule and by sharing of oxygen atom there is a synthesis of new molecule called as isomaltose example of C1C6 glycosidic linkage the formation is in front of you when the elimination of water molecule from the glycosidic OH group and the alcoholic OH group present at the carbon number 6 with the elimination of water molecule and by the sharing of oxygen atom here there is a synthesis of the new molecule here from the glycosidic OH group of carbon number 1st when water molecule is eliminated the glycosidic OH group from the carbon number 1st of the glucose molecule and then after next one the OH group hydroxyl group present at the carbon number 6 that is the CH2OH group this hydroxyl group is involved in the reaction and with the elimination of water molecule here the new compound is synthesized with the two glucose molecule this compound is called as isomaltose the commercial application of isomaltose are in front of you there are enormous and tremendous application of isomaltose it is commonly used as a sweetener thereafter it is used in the bed food food mixes then in case of beverages soft drinks there is a application of isomaltose in case of the maltose also the in brewing industry there is a use of the maltose as well as isomaltose then after in case of the sauces there is a use of isomaltose candies uh, soft and hard candies in both these soft and hard candies there is a use of uh, the isomaltose then after in case of uh, the fruit and nut products there is a use of uh, this isomaltose in the synth uh, formation of commercial uh, manufacturing of jam there is a use of uh, the isomaltose in case of uh, the meat product there is a use of isomaltose then after in case of topping the, in case of the pizza preparation for the formation of uh, the bases as well as uh, in topping there is a use of isomaltose then after it is commonly used as a sweetener there is a commercial application of isomaltose isomaltose is an example of c1c6 glycosidic linkage it is one of the most important c1c6 glycosidic linkage oligosaccharide example of carbohydrate that is isomaltose
after the C1C6 glycosidic linkage and most important oligosaccharide that is the isomaltose. Next that is the C1C1 glycosidic linkage example is trihalose. It is one of the most important oligosaccharide present in the insect. Insect body is containing this trihalose as a blood. In case of human being, it is one of the most important oligosaccharide is just like the glucose or in case of the commercial use and day to day food manufacturing sucrose, the tree halose is one of the most important oligosaccharide present in the insect body. It is just the important circulatory fluid present in the insect body. It protects the insect against different external attack and as well as it also provide the external support for the insect body, internal support for the insect body. At the same time, it is also playing role as a source of energy. Some fungi, bacteria as well as a few plants are also capable of synthesis of this trihalose. Trihalose is most important sugar oligosaccharide present in the insect body. It is also called as the mycose or trimalose. It is the fungus, bacteria and few plants are capable of synthesis this trihalose. Trihalose is playing important role as a source of energy in case of insect. It is also prevent the body from the freezing action. Freezing tolerance is provided by this trihalose. The insect or the uh, microorganisms are protected from the lack of water, insects are protected from the lack of water. In such condition, tree halos is playing one of the most important role. This acts as a source of energy and preventive and protecting agent in case of insect and microorganism. It is one of the most important oligosaccharide and example of C1-C6 glycosidic linkage. The fourth formula is in front of you. This is the structure of the trihalose. In case of the trihalose, the alpha D glucose and beta D glucose, these molecules are involved and by the elimination of water molecule from the glycosidic OH group of alpha D glucose and another glycosidic OH group of the beta D glucose, there is a synthesis of a new compound called as the trihalose. The structure is in front of you. Over ring structure is in front of you. Here, this is the structure of alpha D glucose and beta D glucose. From that, from the glycosidic OH group and glycosidic OH group to present at the carbon number first, carbon number first, with the elimination of water molecule and by the sharing of oxygen atom, the new compound is synthesized that is called as the trihalose. C1-C6 glycosidic linkage, most important oligosaccharide. Student, keep it in your mind. In case of semester end theory examination under objectives, this structure may ask by MCR because the structures of oligosaccharide are only important regarding the semester end theory examination point of view. But if regarding the nature and properties of sucrose, then after the isomaltose, lactose, maltose, if asked by MCR, hence the important explanation, in short explanation I have given in front of you. All the structures are also explained by me. If you are really benefited by this video, like this video, share this video, subscribe my YouTube channel as Atul Ebunwe and you can share your feedback you can share your difficulties through whatsapp number 9421872858 if you are facing any difficulty personally you can share through the email atulebondwe at the rate gmail.com you can follow me on whatsapp facebook and instagram thank you